We're going back to basics today. Let's check it out. This one is called Defensive 442 Park the Bus. So I'm not expecting huge things with our three teams. Although you never know with Ipswich Town being the championship, being kind of halfway down the table, Aston Villa too in the Premier League. But this is a standard 442, as you can see. We are going to see, I mean, it does have some somewhat non standard positioning, no nonsense center backs and things like that. So we'll see what it does with our three teams of Liverpool, Aston Villa, and Ipswich Town in the championship. So let's head to the Premier League and see how they did. Well, clearly not good. I mean, Aston Villa in 19th, Liverpool in 20th, handily relegated. This did not do well for them at all. I mean, I'm not even going to go individually. You can see Europa Conference League out immediately in the fourth qualifying round. Carabao Cup third round against, well, Liverpool. At least they got a little bit farther. But FA Cup third round against Watford, and you did not do well at all. So clearly, Premier League, not good. Europa Conference League, not good. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, not good at all. This season was abysmal. So squad-wise, do we have anyone in double digits? No, we do not. Six goals is the most, and that is Diaby. Assist four for Ollie Watkins. And then we've got one in the green, but only one appearance, but six, eight, four for Martinez. It's actually not too bad for him, but I mean, God, everyone just sucked. So Liverpool actually did get a little bit farther in the cup. So you've got Carabao Cup fourth round against Tottenham is where you lose out. And then you get to the quarters of the FA Cup, but against Leeds, nil one. It's not great, but better, a little bit better. In the Europa League, unfortunately, you don't get past the group stage, which means you drop down to the Conference League and you're out in the round of 16 against VTSC. So overall, Premier League, you are absolutely dead last in the league. I'm sure a lot of Evertonian and uh, Manchester United fans are just thrilled about this. But Europa League, you're out. You actually got dropped down to the Conference League and you're out there. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, not great. But you do get to the quarters of the, of the FA Cup. But still, overall, this season is just dull. Oh. Squad-wise, you can see Graven Birch actually went out on loan to San Sebastian, but still... I mean, goals seven apiece for Nunez, Jota, Gakpo, and Sobazlai. Assist eight for Sobazlai. And you still didn't get, I mean, you couldn't get above Aston Villa. But in 21 appearances, 696 for Gravenberch. Sobazlai with a 694. Yeah, no. Data Hub for Aston Villa, clearly just god awful, not even getting close to Premier League average. And Liverpool, same. Dribbles just above, but shot percentage on, everything else just really low. And for Premier League stats, the only place they show up, Liverpool in 7th of most dribbles made, and most tackles won Aston Villa with 1st and Liverpool in 2nd. They're both tied. That's just insane. Why are they tied, but they're still, I guess, the, the tackling percentage, but still, that's it. And as we switch our sights to the championship, clearly, this did not work for any of our teams. Ipswich Town, I mean, even more so, they handily relegated 20 points, and that is it. Wow. Cup-wise, you're out in the first round against Cambridge. FA Cup, you're out in the third round in the replay against the Bristol Rovers. Uh, I mean, look at this. Just sea of red. That is awful. So overall, Skyba Championship, you were relegated a long time ago. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, the worst we've seen, I would imagine. But overall, just an abysmal season. Squad-wise for Ipswich Town, you don't have a lot of players actually playing. Nine goals for Hurst. Okay, well, that's tops. I mean, that's actually topping Liverpool and Aston Villa. Five assists for Leif Davis and West Burns and Luongo. Average rating 6.83 for George Hurst is the top. Well, championship stats. Most tackles won is the only location. 11.30 is where they're at. 75%. I mean, yeah, everything else is non-existent. So I guess we'll take a look at the tactic. I mean, it is a 4-4-2. I'm surprised they did so poorly, but a goalkeeper in defend, fullbacks on automatic on the left and the right, no nonsense center backs in the central spots in defend, a defensive winger in support. I mean, that's probably why there's so many defensive pieces. You really not have a lot of attacking. So defensive wingers on both sides in support, a deep line playmaker and a ball winning midfielder, both in defend. A pressing forward in attack, your only attacking player right there, and a pressing forward in defend. Defensive mentality, in possession, attacking width fairly narrow. The approach play is pass into space. Passing directness is slightly more direct. Tempo is slightly lower. Time wasting whenever possible. Always hate that. Mix crosses, hit early crosses, play for set pieces, and be more disciplined. In transition, regroup, slow pace down, and take long kicks. 
and then out of possession, a low block line of engagement, a lower defensive line, trigger press less often, get stuck in, drop off more, and trap outside. So how did this do for our three teams? <laughs> Clearly not good at all. I mean, typically I would say go with this type of formation if you are a Luton Town playing in Manchester City. You play so defensively that it's, uh, it's kind of hard to break down. Unfortunately, everyone broke you down. You got four wins and eight draws, 34 losses. That hurts. I mean, overall, all of this just hurts. Just seeing every single you know team, all these three teams relegated very easily uh, and just not getting where you should. But with that type of defensive mentality, it's going to be hard to even break into the, the mid, mid table. So it didn't work for our three teams. Hopefully it worked for their team. It, there was no description whatsoever. So I can't really even say what they did, who they played with or anything like that. I can't even say that if you took control of this, you could do a little bit better yourself, but hopefully a little bit. But, you know, defensive minded, at least some of these teams you can play attacking wise uh, and you can get some points there. But this time, no, it didn't work at all. So that's it. I am done. Safi and FM for the Football Manager Blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.